I know this is a very professional blog. My hair looks fantastic, doesn't it? I'm David Bronstein. <laughs> I, I see what I look like. <laughs> my hair is stick. I was gonna say my hair is sticking up. Something has to stick up. Uh, the phone is cock guy. Look, uh, I'm David Bronstein. This is one a very professional blog. This is one on one and discreet with David Bronstein. Before we begin discussing how to make our billions together, I need an editor. So I'm hiring editors, content producers, editors to run the David Bronstein content. My showrunner, Evan Kay, is producing David Bronstein pilot, Bronstein bagels and bullshit. We're doing a pilot. It's fantastic. Use big producers. I can't tell you too much, but but I need somebody to run my social media editors, content producers to run the David Bronstein social. I'm a big star on uh, TikTok. I can't believe it myself. I don't know why. I have over a hundred thousand views on my videos on TikTok. Here I get two views. Me and some other schmuck looking for the TikTok star. I need, I'm hiring editors, production guys, and please give me likes and shares and uh, what is it called? Like and click my Patreon account and. Uh, <laughs> and buy my merchandise and uh, crowdfunding, whatever the hell's going. Just send some money. That's all. Just send the money. Be, I'm like Soupy Sales, right? Send, go. Send. You know who Soupy Sales is. So please give me likes and and shares and thumbs up and and buy some shit on this. The David Bronstein merchandise. Look, you know what's going to happen. You know, and you want to be part of the the empire. You want to be part of of the the startup of what the. The brand we're building, the supreme, gigantic, billionaire brand we're building with David Bronstein. And I'd love for you all to be a part of it, really. There's enough to share the wealth in what I do. And I'm more than happy to share the wealth, but my world's like the Little Red Hen. I know you have no idea what the Little Red Hen is. Little Red Hen, wanted to, how many times I got to tell you this story? The, are we rolling here? The Little Red Hen, write that down. Everyone loves when I say that. The Little Red Hen uh, was baking bread. She said, I'm going to bake some bread. And she went to the cow. She said, I want to help me bake the bread. The cow said, don't leave me the hell alone. She went to the horses. She said, want to help me bake the bread. I said, no. She went to the chickens. She went to the ducks. I'm getting. I'm getting notifications here. Every two minutes, people are watching my TikTok content. Notif TikTok, tick notification. Every two minutes, they like it. They're messaging me. TikTok. I'm a big star on TikTok. I'm a clock. So the little red hand says to the cow, to the ducks, to the chickens, to the horses, to the pigs. You want to help me bake the bread? They said, no, leave me the hell alone. So the little red hand said, I'll bake my own bread. So she baked her own bread. Then the chucks, the, the chucks, the ducks, the chickens, the cows, the pigs. Oh, that bread smells delicious. I love to eat it. So they all went to the chicken. They said, we thought, well, we'll help. we don't want to help you bake the bread. We'll help you eat it. And the chicken said, get the hell out of here. You didn't help me bake it. You don't get to eat it. And when I was a kid, I read that story. I also read Stone Soup. And for some reason, this has been my life, my lifestyle, my business motto, my life motto. Stone Soup, a bunch of soldiers came into town. They had no food. The townspeople saw them coming in. The townspeople didn't want to share the food. The, the, the soldiers said, we'll make our own food. They found a cauldron. They filled it up with hot water. They got it from the lake. They said, we're going to make stone soup. And they put hot water in the cauldron and they put stones in the cauldron. Is that what it is? A cauldron? The witches brew the cauldron. And the they started making stone soup. And somebody came out and asked, what are you doing? They said, we're making stone soups. They never had stone, stone soup. And they said, oh, it's delicious. Said, oh, really? Can I have some of that stone soup? And I said, well, we'd love to share it with you. Can you add anything to the soup? Make it a little more tasty. And one of the neighbors said, oh, I'll give you some lettuce. So go throw in some lettuce. Then another neighbor came out. He says, what are you doing? He said, I'm making stone soup. So oh, I love to taste stone soup. He said, oh, we got stones. We got lettuce. You have anything? The neighbor said, yeah, I got carrots. So I'm going to put some carrots. And all of a sudden, all the neighbors started coming and putting carrots and, and potatoes and, and salt and pepper. And the whole village made a gigantic soup because they all shared and made a fantastic, delicious soup for everybody. Like the chicken, the one to bake the bread. Nobody wanted to help to bake the bread. They helped to eat it, not to help bake the bread. That's been my life, my business world. If you help me bake the bread, well, well, if you help me make our billions together, and that that's what I have done. I've built an empire. In my head, it's an empire. In my head, it's Andrea says, stop saying it's an empire. It's an empire. And what do we do? It's an empire of fun and cash. That's what I do all day, fun and cash. And how do you have fun and cash? Well, for some strange reason, in my world, you need a lot of cash to have a lot of fun. The things that I want to do, I need the cash to have the fun. I like to go to Las Vegas. I need a lot of cash. I want to go see Broadway shows whenever Broadway show. Oh, well, Broadway shows from the 70s, 60s. Broadway shows now, I don't know. It's, it's like rolling the dice. And hit, you probably have more wins at a crap table than finding a hit Broadway show or a Broadway show that I would like with actual talent. It's a different Broadway now. Even though the cast of Hairspray I've been watching are fantastic. Not the cast that I saw on the, on the NBC show. Well, that's a, I, don't, I, don't want, I don't want to insult anybody, but it's not for me. 
But I like Broadway. I like the Atlantis and, and the Bahamas, even though friends of mine stayed in another hotel. They said I have to try it. I forgot the name of it, but I, so I can only say Atlantis because I can't remember the hotel my friends are telling me to stay in. So the things that I want to do, the high-level stuff, the, uh, what is her name? Um, I watch it every week. <laughs> Vanderpump. The Vanderpump lifestyle. That's what I want. So how am I going to get that? 